Hey guys, it's Carl Brown with GuitarLessons365.com. Today we are going to take a look at Hey You by Pink Floyd. Now this song was originally recorded in a high tuning where uh, David Gilmour basically took uh, the lower strings on the guitar and replaced them with smaller gauge strings, like a 9 gauge string for his 6th, and then tuned that up uh, two octaves, and then I think the 3rd and 4th strings, or maybe the 3rd, were tuned up an octave as well, and they used smaller strings for that. Um, and it was played in open position. Um, so we don't have to go through all that business. I We're just doing this now, arranged for standard tuning, 6-string guitar. All right, so let's jump right into it. We're going to start here, uh, the 7th fret. Um, now, when you're shifting back and forth, I'm going to kind of show you a couple, a couple tricks so you can switch back and forth. Because if you're playing these chords and just jumping back and forth, it might be a little bit more difficult. Uh, but it's a way of kind of like sequentially placing your fingers down. It makes it a little bit easier. So let's uh, start here at the 7th fret, 2nd string. And then we're going to have the 9th on the D and then the 9th on the G. Then put down the second finger here on the eighth fret on the second string. Then when you put that eighth down, you're going to pick across the second, third, and fourth strings. So we're going backwards. So we have all right. Then you're going to come back to the second string and pick that again, followed by the third string. So that's it. We're going from basically an E suspended set, uh, an E sus two chord to an E minor chord. So we have so that's the basic pattern. Then repeat that again. Just remember that these first two nines, you're going, you're picking down. You're going the fourth to the third string, and the rest of them, they're they're coming back up. So we have all together, twice in a row. All right, now we do a shift. Now all you need is really to put your first finger down first at the fifth fret of the second string. And then you can come and grab the third finger on that, it's basically the same uh, that we were doing here come and grab it, but you don't have to have them all three down, jumping all three at the same time. Just as you pick across, you place them. So you can have practice that maneuver. But it just makes the change a little bit easier. And then when you're there, now you can put the second finger down. Now you're gonna pick from the first string, uh, which is the fifth fret, because you're barring here, when you place that first finger down. Then the second uh, string is gonna be the sixth fret and then the seventh fret on the third string. So we have, so we have, and then we're gonna pick the first string and the third string. So there's a string skip there. So we have, okay, then to repeat that, so you gotta release that second finger, then put it back down. All right, simple enough. So that's the whole intro. So just keep going back and forth between those two parts. All right, now we get to the first verse. By the way, the intro comes back up. There's a little reprise of the intro a little bit later in the song. So um, you'll get to play that again. Uh, however, the verse is quite similar to it as well. So we're going to stay here. It's a, it starts the exact same way. So that picking pattern was done twice, like in the intro. But continue it. So it's basically you do it three times, except the very last note, you're going to move this, instead of coming back and hitting 8-9, you're going to pick up that uh, ninth fret and then place the seventh fret on the G string. All right? So it's three times through, and that last note is different. So we have... Alright, 
Now when you lay that down, create a bar across the first three strings of the seventh fret. And lift everything else up except your third finger, which is at the ninth fret already. And then we kind of pick across these strings. Picking can be kind of random here. So it's just not seven on the B, nine on the D, then seven, seven on the B, then the E. All right, then continue picking across that same chord shape. Now really, it's, it's not a huge deal if you just take those, those four notes which form a B minor chord. Just kind of randomly pick through them, which is probably what they're doing anyway. Um, but we'll do it like the album here, just if you want to know. So we have basically hold this chord shape. And the first four notes you hit are second string, fourth, second, first. All right, that's the first group of four. All right, second group of four, third string, second string, third string, first string. All right, then we do the second, fourth, third, first. That's the third group of four. It's all just holding the same shape. And then this third group of four is two, three, one, three. So if you want to spend time memorizing all that, do it. But uh, really, just kind of hanging out and doing some random picking there on that chord. Um, is good enough, I think. All right, so then we take it down to this. All right, now this is a consistent pattern. Bar here at the, um, across the first two strings here at the, seven, the fifth fret, and then grab the sevens here with your second and third finger on the D and the G strings. All right, so the picking pattern is we have that second string, then this is reminiscent back of that intro uh, pattern. Fourth, then third, then to the high E string. Then put your pinky down on the, the B string, that seventh fret, so you have a full, full chord, full D major chord actually. And then we just pick second, third, and then first, third. So we have all together, then repeat that. Except uh, we're going to start here. Actually, it's not completely repeated. We have the first finger again. You just leave your uh, pinky down. Uh, first string again, sorry. Then the fourth, third, first again, second, third, first, third. So those. That group we just did. All right. Then we have a little turnaround here. All right. This is but most definitely the section we're doing right now is the hardest one to memorize. After this, it's a, it's a piece of cake. So we have, um, this part is just eight to nine. Eight on the B, nine on the D string. Then go seven on the G to 10 on the A. Then we have a, the bar, the seventh fret across the second, third, and fourth strings for the D. You're gonna pick that second string, then the fourth and the third, then the eighth on the second string. All right, so we have all together from what we were playing. And then we're gonna settle that into just a standard C major here. Once again, this is something you can kind of randomly pick across. It's eight, nine, and 10. Eight on the second, uh, on the B string, nine on the G, 10 on the D. So we have just kind of picking across the, you know, just going G, D, G, B, G, D, then, then, then to repeat it. Now the last note, the last note in the measure, 
going to be back to that 7. That always kind of takes us down to that B minor chord, which is kind of, you know, just randomly pick across it. Move that 2 frets down, and if you want to randomly pick across again, you can. And we're going to end it with a... just the intro but you just stop on that note at the down here at the fifth position it did start different though it didn't start with this when you came up here and did that last thing this is right after the vocals and we uh, we have uh, instead of going started with that seven on the uh, second string it starts with the ninth fret on the uh, G string and everything else is just like the intro. Alright. Then we gotta do the actual second verse with the hey you. We got a thing, so Roger Waters coming in here. So we have we're gonna play this. It's the E minor add nine chord. All open strings except for the ninth fret on the A and the ninth fret on the D string. Now hold these with the third and fourth strings, and I, you do it with a little upstroke. All right, and then just put the bar, the first finger down across the seventh fret. Keep those two fingers there, and then strum across downward. And there's the next chord. So just back and forth. Now you might want to add some rhythm to that if you want. They're not really doing it on the album, but there's other instrumentation that's kind of carrying it along. But you can do it if you're just doing it by yourself. Then we get to a D add nine. This one's a little tricky. Uh, you can do this a couple different ways, but to get the full chord in here, we're gonna do this D chord like with a pinky at the fifth fret on the fifth string, third finger at the fourth on the G, the D string, second fret on the uh, G, and then third fret on the B string, and you're gonna leave the top string open. And strum down across that all the way to the fifth string. All right, so we have that. Then this. Pretty standard G major to D major to C major. Then this. All right, so that's just the B minor. Strum backwards or upwards, A minor, and then the E minor. All right, so that's that whole second verse. to the guitar solo, which is in the next video. It's not right now, so we'll get to that in the next one. Um, so coming out of that um, solo, we have a bridge, uh, which sounds like this. That that at that part it goes back to that little reprise of the of the intro. So simple stuff. C major to D to the G D C just like we did before. Just does that a few times. And then it's gonna end with a C to a D. 
to the E minor. All right, so that pretty much takes care of all the rhythm parts. We go back to the intro there, um, and you go back to the same chords of, of the second verse when they're doing the second verse chords happen again, and that's the end of the song. But the next lesson, we're going to cover the little, uh, the little rhythm part and the solo to the rhythm. Uh, I'm sorry, the, the solo and then the rhythm to the solo. Okay, I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.